Hi lovely souls, my name is Samantha James. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. Today we have a pick a card for you and it's a part of our spooky season series. So this is a Halloween themed video only happening this month on my channel in October. This is going to be who wants you to be their boo. We have three piles here. We have pile number one with the black obsidian, pile number two with the smoky quartz, and pile number three with this magnet looking crystal that is so freaking cool and I never know what it's called. So if you know what it's called, let me know. We're gonna do a pre-shuffle chit chat where I will pre-shuffle for all the piles and in your pile we will reveal your angel number. You will also have the option to extend for an 18 plus version of this reading. So we will get all the juicy details, but that is going to be linked down below along with your timestamp for your pile in this video. If you're new to pick a card, so what you're gonna do is pause the video and figure out whichever pile or crystal you're drawn to the most. Go down below in the description box, find your timestamp, and I will see you all at your reading. Hello, lovely souls. Welcome. We are here with the pre-shuffle chit chat. I'm very excited about it. So let's get into it. So we have three piles here and I have not pre-shuffled for any of them. So we are going to do that. But I hope you guys are doing well. Alexa, play Spotify. We will listen to some music in the background. Okay, you guys, who thinks you're their boo? <laughs> I just love that. So a lot of things have happened since we last chit-chatted. Um, a lot of the planets have gone direct. Planets that have been in retrograde for over six months. So kind of a big deal. Um, and very chaotic planets. I'm talking Saturn went direct. I'm talking Pluto went direct. Mercury will go direct soon, but it hasn't been in retrograde for that long. I think Jupiter goes direct as well. So it's very interesting. <laughs> Lots of very interesting things happening. Um, now is the time to really release you know, release the negativity, release the burdens, and also allow yourself to release, allow yourself to receive simultaneously, allow yourself to be healed. Don't hold on to that pain. There's no reason to. So there's that. I think it's natural to not know what to do when the sun comes out, when it's been dark for a very long time. I feel like sometimes we get very used to it. I made a joke on my Instagram, on my personal Instagram, I posted a photo and I was like, when you became emo because the planets have been in retrograde for so long. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry, you guys. I've been fighting off a cold and I'm really hoping it's gone so I can do this video for you guys. But my gosh. Also, I realize I have not been telling you what decks I'm using. This is like my brain today. So this is a true love reading cards. They're all right. They're all right. That's why I only pulled one. I don't mean to like, I mean, unless you're super romantic at heart, then perfect deck for you. Now we're going to pull from the Legendary Ladies Goddess deck. My mom actually got me this one for my birthday. I really love it. It's not only a beautiful deck, but it's special to me. <laughs> so, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so I was like, when you became emo, because the planets were in retrograde for so long, and then suddenly they go direct. It's like, uh, what do I do with that? <laughs> What do I do with this? All right, so we have some very interesting energies. I'm kind of peeking at them. I actually want to keep the book out for that deck. We don't have all the goddesses down. Soon, soon. All right, we're going to be using the energy oracle cards, which I also really like. I mean, there's not... 
a deck I don't like. <laughs> uh, I just might not use it as often. But what else is going on? What else? Usually I have some really good shit come out of my mouth when I'm like under pressure. And because I'm not under pressure, since this is pre-recorded, I feel like I'm not saying much. But you guys should join my live streams because sometimes I go on these rants. I swear to God, I'm channeling. But I go on these rants where I'm just like, whoa, this is not me talking. <laughs> The stuff coming out of my mouth is way too wise for this to be me. All right, who thinks you're their boo? Wow, pile number three so far. Lots of energy. Get it? Energy Oracle deck. <laughs> okay. Now we're gonna pull from the Zodiac Oracle. I have literally three different Zodiac Oracles that are like, astrology related they're all okay i've yet to find one that is like really beautiful actually there's one that i want to buy that's really beautiful but because i have three that is just like not where i'm trying to spend my money right now but <laughs> if you wanted to gift me a deck it's on my amazon wish list and i will give you a reading in return not a bad deal So has anyone decided what they're gonna dress their pets up as for Halloween? <laughs> I am either gonna make Jackson a Starbucks employee because Starbucks is like one of his favorite things on earth. Or, and it's not even Starbucks that's his favorite thing. It's the, the act of going to Starbucks and meeting the employees. He loves to say hi to them in the window like something about it being a drive-through and something about some random person popping up in a window is like really fucking awesome to him <laughs> we're going to be using the archetype cards highly recommend this for anybody who does tarot it's really good for like trying to describe people or get descriptions of someone who might be coming in so either a starbucks employee or a black cat <laughs> because he acts like a kitty and if he's a black cat I'll be like a witch I put my like cat ears on him the other day and he like let me do it so I thought that was really funny they also like fit his ginormous head so that was also really funny all right it's getting a little hard with these nails Who thinks you're their boo? Honestly, I'm gonna have to put the fan back on. I put it off because the candle was going crazy. But I don't think I can continue with that. Okay. All right, and then for our tarot deck, hey, enough. We are going to be doing the Teen Witch Tarot. This one is really artistic and funny, and I just thought it was like so perfect for this reading. I'm not pre-shuffling the tarot, I'm just kind of admiring this deck <laughs> and getting it out, but that is our pre-shuffle for today. Not that many cards, but enough. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I feel like I was a little boring, but... Definitely comment down below if you guys know what you're dressing your pet as. In the meantime, I will see you at your pile. We have pile number one with the black obsidian, pile number two with the smoky quartz, and pile number three with this crystal. <laughs> All right, you guys, I will see you at your pile. Hello, pile number one. Welcome if you chose the black obsidian this is for you so this is part of my spooky season series these are halloween themed videos only happening this month of october i'm very excited about it today we are going to be talking about who wants to be your boo <laughs> and we have like a little angel number that i am going to flip over for you guys i pre-shuffled your oracle and we will pull your tarot which is from the teen witch 
tarot, so I'm very excited about it. And you will have the option to extend. The extension is going to be an 18 plus version, so this is just kind of like a regular reading version. Who wants you to be there, boo? What kind of like cute little things are we going to see or what's going to pop up in here? And then you will have the option to extend, which will be an 18 plus. And we'll be using 18 plus Oracle and uh, Tarot. All right, that's linked down below. So what is your angel number? Group number one, we have number eight. Your talent for setting and reaching goals is like no other. You're self-capable of achieving your ambitions. Eight representing the ebb and flow, the infinite loop of creation. I am successful. All right, beautiful start. Who wants you to be there, boo? So for your archetype, we have vampire. Makes you aware that someone or something is draining your life force, depleting others for your psychic survival, chronic complaining and codependency. Interesting. We have rescuer. That's so kind of like contradictory. Provides strength and support to others in crisis. It's like so contradictory. Maybe this person's two-faced. We have poet, <laughs> expresses soul insights in symbolic language. Maybe it's the kind of person that's like cool from afar and then as soon as they like get you in their grip, they're like super codependent. For your uh, zodiac oracle, we have air. They could be an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Interesting. Okay, for your energy oracle, we have caring connection, doors for romance, goddess of the moon. Okay, so I kind of like, you know, for some of you, I don't think it's toxic really. I think vampire is like kind of metaphoric for the fact this person likes to stay inside. <laughs> they might be introverted or have a lot of anxiety. Um, or they could be very empathic and very like psychic. So it's like they might need to stay inside um, for their own kind of revitalization. They could be night owls. Vampire could also represent that they, they make you aware of other people draining your life force because they understand that kind of darkness more than anyone. So they will tell you up front if someone is fake but we'll we'll get into it <laughs> okay for your uh true love oracle <laughs> we have the sacred woman for your goddess oracle we have lakshmi lakshmi abundance please don't come for my head with the pronunciation I will look in the book. They don't even give you the pronunciation in the book, which sucks. Religious factors and let your friends help you. Okay, I'll put this over here. All right. Let me make sure we are in frame here. Perfecto. I can actually move this over a little more. Okay. So, group number one, who wants you to be their boo? Um, <laughs> they could be a woman. It doesn't have to be. I'm just getting that with sacred woman. Could be a man, for sure. Doesn't matter. Either way, I think this person is probably very spiritual, honestly. Um, they seem like they're a very authentic person. Um, they seem like someone who is very artistic, poetic, um, true in their spirituality, uh, genuine, down to earth. This is someone who does have your best interests at hand. Um, this is someone you could be in a very successful relationship with or eventually could be in a relationship with them. You guys could come from completely different cultural backgrounds, completely different countries. You guys could have like a, a distance in age as well. This person could be an air sign. You could be an air sign. You both could be an air sign. Um, and I feel like this is a very caring connection, whether this is someone you're like in an official commitment with or door to romance here means that like you, de you definitely could be. I feel like this is very divine and 
kind of divinely orchestrated with goddess of the moon. Maybe this person is very connected to the moon or their moon sign is ruled by cancer. They could also like manifest with the moon or maybe they talk to you about manifestation with the moon. Um, this person definitely wants you to be their boo. They really care for you and you know, I haven't pulled the tarot but borderline really love you. I feel like this person really wants to heal you and rescue you at the same time as just teach you how to rescue yourself. Um, this is someone who really gives out their love with no expectation of reward. They're also someone who is really expressive, whether that's like in an artistic way or poetic way. They could be a really good writer or could literally be a writer. Um, this is someone who is a romantic at heart, but they don't wear their heart on their sleeve. They're very like protective of themselves and they might be very hard to get close to or maybe it's taken a long time to get close to them with the moon energy. And it's because this person is very psychic and spiritual and, and they are very connected to source. So, you know, they um, tend to like when I talked about like wanting like being introverted or wanting to stay away from people, it's not that they like started off wanting to stay away from you group number one but it's that they really had to like get to know you in order to really let you in and i feel like whatever juncture you're at right now whether this person has fully let you in yet or not um you're well on your way towards that okay let's pull your tarot i feel like this person is really beautiful um they might have a really nice side profile you might really like think that their side profile is really attractive like their jawline and their facial features their lips they might have a really nice pretty like nose or something um this is someone who is very like sexy and like understated sexy like they don't need to like show off to people or be showy about it they have a good amount of meat on their bones they're not like super skinny but they're not like they're not even close to being fat it's <laughs> like that's the opposite but you know what I'm saying they're like very toned they have like a really great um body and face they just look very healthy I think is the energy they could be very pale as well which is why we have vampire here but it doesn't have to be that way this person could also have Native American roots to them with sacred women, or they could have like shamanistic tendencies just because they are this like natural healer. Who wants you to be that boo? Who? We have the chariot. So cancer is here for sure. This person is like a lover at, at their core. Like they are someone who shows their love through random acts of kindness they care a lot you know i feel like and they're also like with the cancer energy they are very protective of themselves so vampire could be that other people you know feel like this person is avoiding them or they get the vibe that they're not like as cared for or welcomed by this person and it's not necessarily that it's kind of a low vibrational way of looking at it it's kind of immature but it's just because this person has to protect themselves and they are aware of other people's draining energy um but i don't think this person feels that way about you i think i'm just trying to highlight this person's character and how they could be very like shy or guarded or introverted but with the shared energy, it makes a lot of sense. Um, but also with the shared energy here, it, it highlights how this person really wants you to be their boo. Like they want to move things forward with you, whether you're an official relationship or actual marriage at this point, or whether it's just like they want to keep moving things forward. Like they see a full life with you because they really believe in your connection. We have the moon, more cancer energy. So this person could like be someone who expresses themselves to you like a lot or they think they do, but they're not that good at expressing it. They're definitely like more on the reserve side. Like they probably tell you that they love you or like you or care for you, whatever level that you guys are at, but they're not like 
super grand in their gestures and it doesn't mean that there's this lack of romance or love I think this person shows it in other ways like I'm seeing cooking I'm seeing like making the home nice like cuddling like I see this person's very like physical and affectionate I just think with the moon energy um they are sometimes not like so direct they're not always like I want you to be my boo you know what I'm saying even though they do totally do with the chariot I think the moon energy also highlights this person's empathic and psychic abilities I mean they're very fucking psychic and you guys might be very connected to each other in that you might even have this like very telepathic bond like you could probably feel this person when they're not doing so well and vice versa they can feel you we have the star energy. So yeah, this person has been through the darkness enough to understand it and enough to know people who are still in it and also has gone through it and shined their light. So I wouldn't doubt that this person is a leader of some sort. They could even be like involved in the occult with their psychic abilities. It could be a tarot card reader. That could be someone who um, is very involved in spirituality, healing, a yoga instructor, shaman, you know, it, all of the above it doesn't matter I feel like this person or they just have like a very profound interest in these things I feel like this person is um very involved in their spiritual community or they have leadership over a spiritual community I feel like people really put them on a pedestal and like really want to know more about this person but they're very shy and I think that it's almost like honorable to you group number one that they want you to be their boo because they don't think that way about anybody <laughs> like at all like but they definitely think that about you like they've chosen you out of the pact and you're like whoa because they're really special themselves so for them to feel that you're special is like an honor um but with the star energy i feel like this person is a light in a lot of people's life like they give a lot of really sound advice they're someone who really recognizes how to help people heal and how to show them like they're like a rescuer and they they express that either through poems or writing or speaking of some sort of some sort of communication here um, and that's why I feel like with the star, this is in front of people. This is someone who has a public profile. This is someone who might have a YouTube or a TED talk or a famous Instagram or whatever it is. This is someone who a lot of people are looking at, um, to find their way out of the darkness. And it's like light attracts light. And this person definitely is, um, always attracting new people towards them. This person might have a black cat or an animal that always follows them around like a dog. They could have like almond shaped eyes as well, like really pretty almond shaped eyes, really like full lips. We have temperance. So yeah, this is someone who like um, can be very reserved and someone who tends to like only open up to a select few and they've chosen you, group number one, and they've chosen to like open up to you and that they really appreciate you and love you and like want you to be their boo <laughs> and this is not someone that just does that with anybody and I don't even think like in their history they've really like felt this way about anybody but they really care about you they really love you they really um want to move things forward with you um I think this person tends to be more focused on their career their abundance or their own kind of psychic abilities and magic and they put a lot of their focus on you and wanting you to be their boo because you're special to them. With temperance, I feel like there could be a really nice balance here between you two, especially if you're interested in what this person is doing with their life, like, you know, creating and manifesting. And maybe at some juncture, this person wants to <coughs> um, teach you about the things that they're doing. We have Lakshmi, Lakshmi. See, I'm telling you, they don't give you pronunciation, which is kind of stupid. But the origin is Hindu. And this is the goddess of fortune and prosperity. 
She brings a bounty of rewards for great work. She especially favors people who have perseverance and put in the hard work. So make sure you're putting in time. Abundance is coming very soon. So I feel like, yeah, this person who wants you to be their boo favors you because you're genuine as well. And they see that and they see you're someone who perseveres and puts in the hard work and you don't take shortcuts. And they appreciate the time that you put into things, maybe even the time that you put into them. They feel like you're very, you know, worthy of reward. And maybe that reward is their love and, you know, their abundance or whatever it is. But this person, I think side note, like money's coming towards you. I always want to channel messages that are like popping up. And side note, group number one, money is coming towards you. <laughs> um, so that's awesome. But I feel like also just like this connection together is abundant like you guys probably can manifest truly like a lot together when you put your minds to it and that's why we have temperance here um but i think this person really like enjoys you because they want to teach you a lot more about like their craft and when you guys can like put your love together it's like an even more powerful force so let's talk about the juicy things that i'm kind of seeing here but we will save it for the extended which is an 18 plus and who wants you to be their boo and just kind of like what physical characteristics about you that they're so interested in and just the attraction and the overall kind of factorials of that that is linked down below you guys but in the meantime stay safe and stay healthy i love you and i will see you in the extended Hello, group number two. Welcome if you chose the smoky quartz. Why isn't it focusing? There you go. This is for you. Focus, 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 focus. All right, so this is a part of my spooky season series. This is all my Halloween themed videos leading up to Halloween in the month of October. This is gonna be who wants you to be the boo. And we're gonna start with your angel number. We will do your tarot. In the extended, is it is an 18 plus and it's really cool because it's like a very on themed 18 plus deck that I just got. It's very like witchy, but sexual. And then we're gonna pull some channeled messages. So that's linked down below. But let's get into it here. Let's start with your angel number. Ah, we have the angel number. 444, I am protected. Trust your journey, trust the way your life unfolds, and trust that you are where you need to be at this present moment. I love that. All right, for your archetype oracle, we have priest. Facilitate spiritual commitments, serves as a channel of spiritual energy. We have trickster. Transcending convention, stuffiness, and predictable behavior. For your zodiac oracle, we have Capricorn. For your energy oracle, we have happy family. And the thinking woman. For your goddess oracle, we have Zhao Shi Do not come for my neck on the pronunciation. There's like no way if I don't know this goddess in advance how to pronounce this because the book doesn't tell you but she's beautiful and we have gratitude and we will read about her and talk about her for your true love oracle we have forgiveness i forgive myself i am forgiven for your romance angels we have this could be the one and romantic feelings okay who wants you to be their boo? Group number two. So this person could be a Capricorn or you could be a Capricorn. Um, this is someone you could be like involved with romantically right now. You could even have a family with them uh, or you guys could be well on your way towards that or it could just feel like I'm gonna have a family with this person for sure. <laughs> Um, this is someone that I feel like you manifested or was brought to you in a very divinely orchestrated way. Um, with 444 here and Priest, I just feel like this is a very divine connection. This could be someone that you are currently manifesting and they haven't quite come yet into fruition.
we have a lot of um, very interesting cards here, but they have holes in them. So I'm going to pull the tarot now and see if I can fill in the gaps. So who wants you to be their boo? Ah, we have the sun to start. We have the empress. Judgments. And we have the Nine of Pentacles. Interesting. Okay, so this could be someone that you're already in a relationship with and you're just like on this video because it's funny and thematic towards like Halloween. This is someone that you definitely know is the one or could be the one that you have a lot of gratitude for and that this person has really come into your life and shown you light in a new way. I feel like this is someone that makes you really happy. This is someone that makes you feel really beautiful and really attractive or this is someone that really looks up to you and that they really tell you and compliment you and show you how attractive and beautiful you are. Um, I feel like you could have been very reserved towards this person to start, but you've decided to really give them a chance and open up to them. Um, I think this person is very um, spiritual themselves, but maybe in a different way. And I feel like you guys together definitely want to manifest and create new beginnings for your lives. And this could represent, if you're in separation, coming together in reconciliation. This could represent having a happy family together. Um, this could represent just manifesting peace, stability, healing, and forgiveness. And that's why we have the forgiveness card here. But the trickster card, I'm getting more so as like this person's very interested in the law of attraction and manifestation. With priest here, I feel like this person could be a literal priest or they could serve as some sort of messiah or spiritual entity to their community. Or this could be someone that is very like hierophant energy, like they're very committed to their spirituality or their spiritual practice. And that could involve like working out or going to the gym or things like, or reading or things like that. I feel like this person, um, you know, is very happy with you. They definitely obviously want you to be their boo. They think you're super beautiful, super attractive. They feel very abundant around you. They feel like they met you when they didn't deserve you with judgment here, like life after death. They feel like you gave them hope of a future that they didn't think they were gonna have. Maybe they didn't think they were gonna have a happy family. Maybe they didn't think that they were gonna reach this level of stability. Maybe they didn't think they were ever gonna have someone that they were truly grateful for and found true stability with. Maybe in their past they were really betrayed or their foundation of stability was always very rocky and taken from them or destroyed in some sort of way. And now this person feels like not only do they have stability with you, but they have like a community with you as well. So it might be you guys that have some sort of leadership role over a spiritual community. I wanna read about this goddess. See, it doesn't give you the pronunciation, which I think is really not cool because these are very, some of these are very interesting names. So it could have done better. Really beautiful book, but they could have done better. Okay, so the origin is Aztec. This is a flower goddess, and she's guiding you to embrace all the good things in your life and honor them with gratitude. Now is the time to acknowledge your many blessings. And with the Empress in the Sun, I do feel like this person is an acknowledgement of their many blessings because of you. There's something about you that is very abundant and very, there, you are like a warmth and a light in their life. And it really shows them like the true meaning of friendship, love, and all of those things. So of course they want you to be their boo if you're not their boo already. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? This person's super attracted to you. Um, they love her body. I mean, we're going to get more into this in the extended, but they love your personal style as well. They like that you're unique and different and sort of witchy. 
and they like your confidence like they know that you know you're hot and maybe you don't but you do like it's kind of hard to explain this person also thinks you're like otherworldly like you could be like animals like get attracted to you differently you could be really into like flowers and the outdoors and like just someone who is really interested in making things around you really beautiful um you could be someone who has like healing qualities and you've really like transformed your life yourself and i feel like with the sun energy just because she's like on a donkey here <laughs> they like the way you ride it no i'm just kidding well i'm not but we'll get that in the extended <laughs> this is more so like this person feels like you have become this light in their life even through a very rocky time even through a time where maybe they weren't to be trusted with capricorn or they weren't to like fully be um they weren't being fully understood or they weren't expressing themselves fully to you maybe they were a trickster in the past and like you gave permission to them to forgive them you like you have forgiven them and um or vice versa you know what i'm saying or vice versa <laughs> but i feel like now you guys have really transformed this energy and i think that this person has given you a second chance or you're you've given them a second chance and you guys are really well on your way towards um being together in some sort of upper echelon of commitment whether that's like being in a relationship officially or you know getting married officially or having kids or whatever it is i do feel like this person definitely wants you to be their boo they think you're the one they have a lot of romantic feelings for you they love you they you know they're very happy with you and you know you make them very you make them feel very safe so that's all I'm seeing for you, grief number two, but we are going to continue this with more dirty, naughty version of this and channel messages in the 18 plus that is linked down below. In the meantime, however, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the extended. Hello, pile number three. Welcome. If you chose this crystal, this is for you. All right. So this is a part of my spooky season series where we are going to talk about who wants you to be their boo. It is cuffing season after all. And you will have the option to extend. The extension is gonna be an 18 plus. We're gonna pull channeled messages and I have a really cool like witchy kind of sexual deck that we're gonna use. So let's start with your angel number. You guys got 888, I am abundant. As you focus on all the wonderful things that surround you, you're clearing the path for more positive energy to flow into all areas of your life and creating a place for abundance. All right, so who wants you to be their boo? For your archetype, we have femme fatale, highlights the erotic energy of the feminine, opens your heart when your dependency is rejected. We have child wounded, awakens compassion and desire to serve other wounded children, opens the learning path to forgiveness. And we have mentor, passing on wisdom and refining a student's character. For your zodiac oracle, we have Scorpio, which is also ruled by number eight. For your energy oracle, we have angel of love, door to spirit, and six chakra archangel matreon. For your goddess oracle, we have Kali, shadow. We have the divine feminine, We have stay optimistic about your love life. And deception. Okay, so I'm really feeling like The person that wants you to be their boo could be
be a divine feminine and they have this very Scorpio type energy to them. We have a lot of like dark elements like the wounded child, Kali, the goddess of shadows, just Scorpio in itself, deception. So I really feel like this person could be someone who has a dark side to them and I don't even mean that in a, in a negative way. It could just mean that this person is like a darker person. They're into like, they're more emo, they're more goth, they're more punk, and they're more into like the occult on that kind of perspective. I do think that they are a divine feminine um, or they have a really divine nature to their feminine energy. Um, this person could also kind of serve as a mentor to people, to others, or to their community, or maybe even just directly to you. They might have this like connection to source and spirit, and they might be very intuitive and, you know, very psychic. And I feel like this is someone who, um, It's so interesting because I feel like I'm describing you, group number three, but it's like, who wants you to be their boo? Unless the like irony or the gag is that you want to be your own boo because you like have practiced self-love and you're on this healing journey. Or you could be manifesting someone similar to you. This could even be a friendship, like platonic, like this person wants you to be their boo. There's a couple scenarios I'm seeing, well, quite a few, because one of them it does involve a romantic connection in that I feel like this person and you really match up together because you both like understand each other's darkness. And maybe even taking it a step further, you both have like connected with each other through the darkness. So we have Kali, which is the goddess of shadow. The goddess of destruction, Kali, her origin is Hindu, calls for you to face your shadow self. Things lurking underneath may be disrupting what you're trying to achieve on the surface. Facing those aspects of yourself is the only way forward. Kali helps you embrace them so you can truly be free from fear. So. I do feel like this person and you connect through the darkness. I feel like this person who wants you to be their boo group number three also kind of had a wounded childhood or had a lot of traumas that they had to heal from. And I feel like you guys really connect on that level. Um, I think maybe they've been acting as like a mentor to you or someone that does really care about your best interest at hand. I do think that they're naturally very sexy and attractive. So they have this femme fatale energy. They have a lot of people who are drawn to them and they have a lot of options. And I feel like um, maybe this person hasn't been super honest about their feelings with you because, you know, they are not very committed like maybe they are afraid of commitment and they like also don't want to fuck up the friendship or the mentorship or kind of the just psychic connection that you guys have together like they like to keep things casual but it's like not casual at all at the same time because there is this dark element to the connection and that you guys really connect on like a soul and psychic level that it's like really deep so how can it be so casual you know what i'm saying so i feel like this person really does love you and they really do want you to be their boo um but they're being very deceptive about their feelings because of whatever maybe because of their own darkness maybe because they're going through some sort of shadow period right now maybe they're dealing with their shadow self um <clears throat> but they do view you as someone who is like worth their while let me pull your tarot yeah we have the king of swords so this person could be a king of swords type so they're not the best at ex they're like really expressive when it comes to casual matters maybe even deep things but as far as like their own personal feelings and agenda they are so shut off about that like they're not good at expressing themselves at all so they might be acting like they do not care with the king of swords energy 
We have the Three of Swords. This person could be afraid of getting hurt by you, or they might recognize the kind of severity that you already have over them, like the kind of power you already have over them, because they find you to be very attractive, very sexy, very divine. Maybe they see you as the divine feminine, and you are like the light, and they are like the shadow. And maybe they kind of see that up front, and they don't want to like, you know, displace you or take you off that path. There could also be a third party situation in this connection, and so you know, they aren't sure whether or not, like, because they just, ha it seems like they have commitment issues, whether they're having a tough time choosing between you and someone else. I don't know that for sure. Um, definitely get a personal reading with me on my live stream. We could look into it, but I do think this person loves you and has a connection of love for you, especially with the Six of Cups. There might be distance in between you two, and the only way that you can connect is like online or through social media. Um, or it could just be that there is an element of nostalgia in which like you've known this person for a really long time, but I feel like right now there's some sort of separation or like no contact and you guys are definitely like missing each other. With the three of wands, I do see the optimism that you see as well, group number three, and I think this person sees it too. And that there is some sort of abundance factor to this connection in which the world is your oyster. Like things could really progress here. You guys really could have a beautiful connection together. You definitely have the compatibility and the chemistry. But the things that are stopping it have to do with the fact that this person has a tough time like really going outside of themselves. Like I think they're very sexual and I think they're very elusive and they try to be very casual in regards to sex. But you know, they have these very deep feelings that they've tempered or that they've hidden away. And until they will get to the light and really like admit them, it's hard to see this progressing. But if they do, it's very easy to see this progressing in that, you know, I feel like you guys could really have a great relationship. I feel like you already have a very telepathic bond. You already can feel each other's energy from far away, but there might be things that involve other people or some sort of drama I'm picking up on, but it seems like there is a lot of potential in this connection at the same time, which is very interesting. Um, you could serve as a mentor to this person, or again, they could just be a mentor to their community. And it could be kind of deceptive in its own way in that like they are out here giving advice, but they don't like take their own or they're not really good at taking their own. But I don't know, it just seems like the kind of energy that, it, you know, lots of Pluto energy. It seems very dark, but it also seems like very mystical and full of potential at the same time. This person, there's a lot of sexual aspects to this connection, so it'll be very interesting to get into the extended because, you know, although this person tries to, like, be mature and I think, like, a healer, they're also, like, naturally provocative and promiscuous, and I think they're very attracted to the fact that you're very sexual and, and like, sexy, but, like, beautiful and, um almost like innocent like you don't have to like just put your stuff on display and there's something very whimsical about you so you guys kind of like balance each other out in your own way but you know the angels are saying to stay optimistic about your love life because with that three of wands at the end i definitely see this could go towards something that ends up being like an actual relationship but this is a person that wants you to be their boo group number three that's all i'm seeing for you in the general but i am picking up a lot on what i want to extend this on we're also going to do channeled messages there that is linked down below in the meantime however stay safe stay healthy i love you and i'll see you in the extended